Excuse me. Hello. How can I help you? I'm interested in buying a membership card. That's great. How did you hear about us? A friend of mine has a membership with you. What services are you interested in? I would like to have access to the swimming pool. Would you also like to work out in the gym? Yes, I would. Here is a listing of our prices. I think this plan is best for me. All right. Just fill out this paperwork, and that's all. Can you teach me to swim? Why don't you take a class instead? Swim classes are embarrassing. I suppose I can teach you. How did you learn to swim? My father threw me into a lake when I was four years old. You could have drowned. I could have. But I swam instead. Is that how you plan to teach me? It's the best way to learn. I think I will sign up for the class after all. Okay, that is less work for me. Are you going to camp this summer? I don't think so. Why not? I'm kind of traumatized from last year. What happened last year? I got a cramp while swimming and almost drowned. I thought you took swimming lessons last semester. I did, but I'm still afraid. Anything could happen. You just have to trust in your abilities. Do you really think I'll be okay? I know you will. You swim like a fish now. Thanks for your encouragement. I think I will go after all. Why is this soccer ball pink? I bought it at the breast cancer fair. I thought that all soccer balls are black and white. The pattern isn't what makes it a soccer ball. Then what makes it a soccer ball? What's important is the material it's made from. What's so special about the material? It allows the ball to bounce, but not too much. I see. It would be hard to control a bouncy ball. My ball is a little flat, though. We'd better fill it up. If we don't, it won't even roll. Have you seen the air pump? I'm surprised to see you out running. I want to join the track team next semester. Is that why you're training so hard? Yes, I want to be in shape for tryouts. You just don't run to get in shape. What should I do then? You should do some weight training too. What good is weight training? It will give you strong legs so you can run well. If my legs get too muscular, I'll look like a frog. Frogs are pretty fast. That's true. Maybe as a frog, I'd win all the races. You sure are buying a lot of stuff. It's all the equipment I need for basketball. What do you need besides a ball and a hoop? All good players have a good pair of shoes. That makes three things. You should also wear comfortable clothes when you play. What about all the candy you're buying? A player has to stay energized. I don't think it's good to run on sugar. Then I'll eat it while I'm watching the basketball game. Are you watching it on television? Yes, there's a big game on Sunday. I want to try out for the tennis team. Our school doesn't have a tennis team. Yes, it does. They were practicing after school yesterday. Were they using a birdie? Of course not. That'd be animal abuse. A birdie is a plastic red-nosed tool for badminton. Oh, I see. Yes, they were using a red tool. Then the sport you saw was definitely badminton. Is that also why the rackets were so small and thin? Yes, it's w somewhat similar to tennis, though. Well, in that case, I want to join the badminton team. I wish you the best of luck.
Do you like baseball? I've never watched a game. You've never even seen it on television? I don't own a television set. We should go watch a game one day. Where can we watch a baseball game? In a baseball stadium. There are entire stadiums just for playing baseball? Yes, they even wrote a song about it. I never knew it was such a popular sport. Do you want to go play catch in the park? Sounds good to me. What happened to your eye? I was punched in the eye. You got into a fight? Yes, but it's all right. I don't think fighting is okay. I was fighting in a boxing match. Are you taking boxing lessons? Yes, I go every evening. Have you ever fought in a competition? Yes, but I didn't make it to the finals. Well, maybe you should wait until your eye heals to compete again. I definitely will. It's hard to box with only one eye open. I'm so sore from running. Maybe you've been practicing too hard. I want to do well on the big race next week. After all that practicing, you'll be too tired to run. I won't. I'm trying to get faster, though. You're pretty fast. I feel like my grandma can run faster than me. You just have to believe in yourself, and you'll do well. I always get nervous before races. Maybe you should run distance races instead. Do you really think I have a good endurance? Of course. Otherwise, you couldn't train this hard. Do you like my new bicycle? It looks very sporty. It's a racing bike. I bought it so I could be in the, tri in the triathlon. Wow, I hear triathlons are difficult. You have to train hard for them. Are triathlons always based on the same three sports? Yes, they are cycling, running, and swimming. It's so exciting. I'll be sure to watch you compete. It's not a competition against others. It's not? No one can win first place? You can, but I just want to prove to myself I can do it. I'm sure you can. I'll even sponsor you in the race. That skateboard doesn't have any wheels. That's not a skateboard. Oh, is it a surfboard then? No, that's a snowboard. It's amazing how similar yet different those three sports are. They all take a lot of practice and dedication. I think I'd like snowboarding best. Why do you like it most? When you wipe out, you fall in fluffy white snow. That does sound better than falling on concrete. It's also better than drowning in the ocean. Snowboards are the best kind of board in my book. This is a weird-looking golf club. That's not a golf club. What is it, then? It's a hockey stick. Is hockey the game the men play on ice? Yes, it is. It's a difficult game. It reminds me a lot of soccer. I think hockey is more difficult than soccer. Why do you think that? Well, you have to skate. Soccer is just kicking. I think there is more to it than that. Either way. I'd be terrible at both. Our skates are so different. What do you mean? Your wheels are all in a line and mine are not. Oh, that's because these are roller blades. They look difficult to use. They just go a little faster. Our skates show our differences in personality. Why are you saying that? Yours are sharp and sporty, but mine are cute and practical. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Anyways, let's go back to skating. Let's go. What are those men doing with brooms? 
I think those are special brushes. Are they going to clean the ice? It looks like this is some kind of sport event. Look, they're sweeping in front of that rock. The internet said that the sport is called curling. It doesn't seem like a real sport to me. Me either. All they do is throw the rocks. How did this sport make it into the Olympics? I don't know, but I think it's boring. Should I change the channel? I wouldn't mind if you did. You've been watching a lot of soccer lately. There's a different game shown every day. That's because of the World Cup. Everyone is talking about it all the time. Have you watched every single game? No, I only watch the really important teams. How do you choose which teams are important? Well, I cheer for the countries my parents are from. What other teams do you cheer for? Well, this country's team, of course. How do you choose from all other teams? That's easy. I cheer for the one with the cutest players. I've never been in a sports shop before. I love looking at all of the equipment. Everything is so colorful and new. It's so that players can personalize their equipment. There are so many different sports I've never heard of before. They have sports stuff from all over the world. I feel like I want to try harder in sports now. Why do you have that feeling? That way, I'll know how to use all of this equipment. For now, I think it's best to stick to the basics. I agree, but being in here still makes me excited. Me too, especially when there's a sale. Great shirt! Go Dodgers! It's great to find a fellow fan. Do you think we have a chance at winning this year? Of course. The coach will not let us down. Have you ever been to an actual game? I try to go to at least one every season. What's it like? It's a great experience. Children love going to the stadium. Maybe I'll take my son to a game. Just keep an eye out for flying balls. I'd be more worried about cavities from sweets. It's just a baseball game. You're supposed to pig out. Do you like sports? Of course I do. Awesome! What's your favorite one? Hockey. It's the best sport there is. It's too violent for me. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yes, it looks dangerous. Not really. I've been playing for five years and I'm okay. Is that why you're missing your front teeth? Yes, but it's not that bad. It looks painful. A little. Everything else about hockey is fun. Cool, but I'll stick to golf. Hi, you're David's mom, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm James's mom. They play on the same team. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Will David be playing in the big game on Saturday? I'm afraid not. He's fighting a cold. That's terrible. A bug has been going around. He missed a lot of school, though. I see. I'll, s I'll ask David to deliver his homework. That would be a great help. Thank you. It's no problem at all. Tomatoes are so strange. What's so weird about them? My dad made a cake with them yesterday. That's a little unusual, I guess. Also, we eat them in salads all the time. Why is this so amazing? You don't usually use vegetables in desserts. Tomatoes are a fruit. That's like saying strawberries are not really berries. Actually, they're not.
I feel like I've been lied to all my life. Well, at least you can use them both in salads. I am so hungry. Why don't you heat up a TV dinner? I'm tired of eating frozen food. It's not frozen once you heat it up. You know what I mean. Do you want to order a pizza? We had pizza two days ago. We may still have leftovers. Can we go get takeout? Only if you do the driving. On second thought, I'll heat up the TV dinners. You're the laziest person I know. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. Are you going to bake him a cake? I was thinking about it. What kind were you considering? That's what I'm not sure about. Well, all kids love chocolate. That's true, but it has a lot of sugar. Why don't you make it plain vanilla? I don't think the kids will eat a plain cake. Then mix them and make chocolate swirl cake. That's an amazing idea. Another good idea is to let me lick the frosting bowl. I get so hungry during the day. That's not good. You should eat more. Maybe I'll start taking snacks to work. You can store them in the cafeteria fridge. I'm afraid others will eat them, though. You know, you might have a point. I could write my name on the containers. That's a good solution. What kinds of things should I take, though? You can wake up early and make lunch. You know, maybe it's not worth all the effort. You mean you don't? Want to give up your sleep? Why are some apples green and others red? Won't the green ones turn red later? No, I think they will always stay green. Then they're just different kinds of apples. But what makes them different? Their genetics, I guess. What if a long time ago someone colored apples red? Then why are there green ones? Because the painter made a mistake. What do you think happened to that painter? The apple queen probably chopped off his head. I think you've seen Alice in Wonderland too many times. Do you have any chewing gum? I don't have any. Sorry. What are you chewing on then? It's a piece of paper. Do you know how dirty paper is? It was a brand new sheet. Why are you chewing it though? I forgot to buy gum, so I'm chewing paper. What if you get a paper cut on your tongue? I really don't think that will happen. I still say it's a bad idea. But at least I'm chewing something. Why do they call this bubble tea? I think it's because of the balls on the bottom. They don't look like bubbles to me. I told my sister they were frog eggs. Did she believe you? Yes, she started crying. Why was she crying? She said I was mean for eating baby frogs. I agree with your sister. You're pretty mean. It was just a bit of fun. Well, did you know they're really fish eyes? You're definitely not funny. What a delicious meal! Don't stick your chopsticks in rice like that. What's wrong with it? It's very bad manners. Oh, I didn't know that. You also shouldn't hold them in your mouth. Where should I put them then? Just lay them neatly across your plate. Chinese restaurants have a lot of rules. Are you kidding? Fancy restaurants have three forks. Never mind. 
I prefer two sticks to three forks. Definitely. So mind your manners, please. Don't put your cup noodles in the microwave. Why not? They're better this way. The styrofoam will melt and get in your food. How am I supposed to heat it then? Heat the water and then pour it in. It seems like so much more work, though. It's worth it to be healthier. You're right. It takes longer, though. It'll take even longer if you keep complaining. Okay, okay. I'll heat the water now. Don't heat it for too long, or you'll burn yourself. I think I'll just eat them raw as a snack. What is in this can? I don't know. It doesn't have a label. It looks like a corned beef can. Well then, open it and we'll cook it. It smells a little strange. Maybe it went bad. Why is the dog so excited? Dogs love meat, so he can probably smell it. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is. What do you think it is? It's the dog's canned dog food. We're so lucky he discovered that before we did. Let's go get lunch. Where do you want to go? Let's try that new restaurant down the street. Only if you're treating. I think it's your turn to pay the bill. I paid it last time. I think you're wrong. It's an expensive restaurant. I really want to try it though. If you want to go in, we'll pay separate bills. That sounds fine to me. Maybe we should do that more often. Do you want to get some ice cream? Ice cream is really fattening. All desserts are fattening. Why don't we just eat some yogurt? I want something cooler. Haven't you ever heard of frozen yogurt? I don't think that's really yogurt. Is it ice cream then? I think it's healthier than ice cream. It tastes good, and that's all I care about. Well then, let's get some frozen yogurt. All right. I just don't know where to buy it. My grandma bought me some chocolates yesterday. That is an impressive looking box. She said they were imported chocolates. What does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds impressive. I think it means that they come from another country. Would people go through that much trouble for candy? Chocolate is considered a delicacy in some places. It's ironic that it's almost worthless here. Have you tried it yet? Yes, it's delicious. Well, that's imported chocolate for you. This is the most amazing smoothie ever. What is so amazing about it? It's made with a fruit humans invented. How did humans invent a fruit? I think the process is called crossbreeding. That's amazing. What is the fruit called? The name is a little uncreative. Oh, tell it to me. It's a strawberry banana. You mean you got excited over a strawberry banana smoothie? Wasn't making two fruits into one a great idea? I think you misunderstood this whole situation. The fish and chips dish looks delicious. Do they let you choose the chips you want? Maybe they're just salted potato chips. The picture on the menu shows French fries. Maybe that's an alternate choice. I don't think so. No other chips are listed. Do you think maybe the French fries are the chips? Maybe. They're both made from potatoes. This is a very confusing menu. I agree. They must get a lot of complaints. Oh well, you can have the chips. 
I think you mean French fries. What's that white stuff on your food? It's sour cream. Want to try some? I don't think so. It sounds gross. It's not really sour. Why is it called sour cream then? I think it's because they let the milk go sour to make it. You're eating sour milk? Yuck. Cheese is made in a similar way. I thought cheese was made from bacteria. Of course. Bacteria cause milk to go sour. Dairy products are so strange. Even so, I think they're delicious. James, eat your candy after dinner, please. I just want to eat a little now. You'll spoil your dinner. My food won't rot if I eat a little candy. What do you mean? When food spoils, it goes bad. My food won't go bad. It won't rot, but it won't taste the same either. Why won't it taste the same? Well, if you eat the candy now, it will stay in your mouth. I guess so. Why is that bad? I don't think you want blueberry flavored mashed potatoes. You're right. I don't. I'll eat the candy later. I wish I could touch the clouds. I bet they would be soft like cotton candy. Maybe they're made of cotton candy. That's impossible. Well, they're both fluffy. That's all they have in common. Both clouds and cotton candy dissolve with water. Clouds don't dissolve with water. Then why do they disappear after it rains? That's actually a good observation. I never want to try white cotton candy, though. Me neither. I imagine it would taste like mint. I love putting bacon in everything I cook. It is a delicious food. Did you know you can even put it in chocolate? That's amazing. It tastes wonderful. They're my two favorite things. I heard bacon is actually bad for you, though. How can something so delicious be bad? It makes it harder to pump blood through your body. That sounds dangerous. I heard it can really shorten your life. I'd rather live a short life happily eating bacon. I think you need to work on your priorities. There are so many different kinds of berries. I can't tell some of them apart. Me neither. It is a difficult task. Raspberries and blackberries have the same shape. Just remember that raspberries are red. Then why is raspberry candy always colored blue? I think that's because cherry flavor is already red. Blueberries are even more confusing. Why? They're the blue ones. Well, when you mash them, they look purple. I don't think anyone eats mashed blueberries. It's easier to eat them all in a pie. Then they all taste good together. I'm making the food for the party tomorrow. I heard you are a fantastic cook. Thank you. I do my best. Do you have everything you need? I just need a few more items. Vegetables are so expensive. It's not so bad when they're not charged by the pound. What about when you need a lot of one kind? It's usually fine, except I always buy too much garlic. It's because the packages sell five heads instead of one. I can never use all the garlic, and it goes bad. Well, at least your house will be safe from vampires. I am so hungry. Me too. My stomach is growling. Are there any good places nearby? Do you want to go to the restaurant across the street? Oh no, that place is so dirty. 
I heard the food was good. The food is good, but not the place itself. What's so dirty about it? The staff only cleans the tables once a day. Wow, that is crazy. Anything else? The bowls and plates are not washed well. Let's not go there anymore. Do you want to meet up for lunch? Sure. Where are we going? It depends. Are you a picky eater? Not at all. I like most anything. What about spicy food? That's my favorite kind. Mine too. I know a place with very spicy hot wings. Then we should go there. However, it is a little bit far. That's fine. I really want to try these wings. Okay, then I'll send you the address. See you there. Have you ever been to that popular hot dog stand? No, I have not. My friends said the hot dogs are really great. The line is always really long. I say we wait for them. They're just hot dogs. My friends said everyone should try it at least once. Do you always listen to your friends? No, but their opinions matter. My opinion is forget the hot dogs. Fine, I'm going to eat one in front of you. You won't ever reach the front of the line. Would you like to try our new item for free? If it's free, then of course. Great. Here it is. What is it? It's a smoothie made from chicken and beef. That is absolutely disgusting. You didn't even try it yet. I already know it's going to taste bad. Please try it. You might love it. I'll just have a slice of pizza. I will get that for you. Thanks. And take back the smoothie. May I have a table for three? Of course. Here is your number. About how long will it take you to call this number? About one hour. Wow, that is really a long time. I apologize for the long wait. Does the line go all the way outside? Yes, I apologize again. Why can't the customers wait inside? It's freezing. There are already too many people inside. Forget it. I'm leaving. Please give us another chance. Welcome to Sarah's Sandwiches. Hi, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the bread. I want something healthy and tasty. I recommend the sweet grain bread. Okay, thank you. What kind of meat do you recommend? Turkey would be good for you. Okay, I'll get that. I'll also add tomatoes, lettuce, onions, and cucumber. Thanks for helping me create a healthy sandwich. It is my pleasure. I am going to get the spaghetti. I don't know what to get. Just pick whatever looks good. This is so hard. Why don't you get the pizza? It's too expensive. How about the hamburger? It's too fattening. How about the burrito? I hate Mexican food. You are way too picky. I'm just going to get water. Hi, sir. What can I get you today? I'll have one glass of iced tea. I'm sorry, but we are out of iced tea. How can you be out of iced tea? We didn't get all of the ingredients. Iced tea is all I want. Sir, we have plenty of other drinks. I guess lemonade would be okay. Lemonade, coming right up. Wait, you should give me a discount. 
I will give you a 15% discount. Good. This restaurant is doing something right today. Have you been to this restaurant before? Yes. The last time I came here was two years ago. Does it still look the same? It looks nicer now. The paintings are amazing. Does the food taste the same? Yes. Their crab cakes taste great, as always. I am allergic to crab. That's too bad. It's okay. The chicken sandwich was just great. I am allergic to chicken. What aren't you allergic to? All the stuff that tastes bad. This chicken is so plain. I agree with you. Should we send it back? No, I don't want to give the waiter any trouble. Should we just leave this restaurant then? No, we already got here. What in the world do we do then? I know. Let's add chili sauce and lemon. What a great idea. Okay, here I go. Well, how does it taste? It tastes so much better. I am going to get the meatloaf. Get anything but the meatloaf. What's wrong with the meatloaf? I got food poisoning when I ordered meatloaf here. Thanks for telling me. No problem. I'm going to get the egg rolls. I'm still going to get the meatloaf. Did you not hear what I said? I did, but I'll take the risk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry. I won't. Have fun throwing up later. I want to get pancakes. Are you crazy? It's 8 p.m. Does it matter? It's dinner time. I know, but I really like breakfast food. Why don't you just wait for tomorrow morning? I'm too impatient. I'm going to get actual dinner food. Sure, go ahead. You know, they might not have pancakes right now. I would go to another restaurant then. You really like pancakes. I don't like pancakes. I love them. Do you want to eat something really good? Yeah, of course. There's this incredible Italian restaurant. Okay, let's go now. We'll get there in four hours. Are you joking? The restaurant is in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're not going all the way there for food. Why not? It will be fun. There are a lot of Italian restaurants here. But they're not as good. Fine. We can go tomorrow. Excuse me, miss. Yes? What can I do for you? This bill is incorrect. It is indeed correct. I thought this plate of noodles was $10. You misread it. It is $100, not $10. Why is it so expensive? There are rare ingredients in it. What exactly are these rare ingredients? Caviar, lobster, and a special type of mushroom. I am not paying for this. You already ate it, so you must pay for it. I have a problem. What is wrong? I don't know how to use chopsticks. That's too bad. Doesn't this restaurant have spoons and forks? No, this place is really traditional. How can I eat my noodles then? You can use your hands. I am not a wild animal. You can learn how to use chopsticks. It's too hard. It's not. I'll teach you. Do you want to go to a buffet? What is a buffet? It's a restaurant where you can eat as much as you want. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it is. 
You'll be full when you leave. What kind of food is there? There's sushi, noodles, dumplings, and a whole lot more. How much is it? It's fifteen dollars per person. That's a reasonable price. I can't wait to go there. That was a delicious dinner. The waitress was bad, though. Don't be mean. She dropped soup on my dress. She did not drop it on purpose. She also took forever to bring out the food. Maybe she is a new employee. I am not giving her a tip. Oh come on! At least give her a small one. I'm not even going to put a penny. Fine, I'll put a tip. You are way too nice. What did you think about the waiter? He was nice. We should give him a forty percent tip. That's too much. You said he was nice. He was nice, but he wasn't excellent. Can we at least give him a thirty-five percent tip? Why do you want to tip this guy so well? He is my friend from school. Oh, I see. He's the only one who works in his family. Fine, we will give him a good tip. Is it me, or does this water taste weird? It tastes weird. I'm glad it's not just me. It tastes sweet. I think the staff didn't wash the glasses. The customers before us probably ordered soda. That's why it's so sweet. Yeah, it's water mixed with soda. We are drinking someone's saliva. Gross. We should complain. We should ask for a free drink. I agree with you. Hi, sir. I have seen you a lot. I come to this restaurant twice a week. May I ask why? I really like the food and the environment here. I'm pleased to hear that. Any time. Anyways, I'll have my usual order. Don't you ever want to try something new? No, I really like the ham sandwich. I recommend the omelet. I'll try it if you give me a discount. Because you're a faithful customer, I will. Thanks for the good service. Wow, I'm the only one in this restaurant. Well, it is 1 a.m. Why doesn't this restaurant close earlier? It's trying to make more money. That's pretty smart. Just curious, why are you here at this time? I couldn't sleep. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, it's just a one-time thing. I see. What would you like to order? I'll have an egg and two bacon strips. You'll have it very soon. There are no other customers here. I am so thirsty. Sorry, I don't have water. Is there a restaurant nearby? Yeah. There's one two blocks down. Let's go there. I thought you wanted water, not food. I still do want water. Then why are we going to a restaurant? We're going to get water for free and then leave. That is so rude. Yeah, but we save money. You're so cheap. I'm tired of living with my sister. I don't like living with mine either. There should be a place to send annoying siblings. What kind of place? I don't know. Maybe the zoo. My sister is too wild to live in a zoo. I think she'd scare all the animals. Yeah, and eat all of their food. What about the aquarium? I guess the Shark Tank would be a good place. It's too bad that humans can't breathe under water. What a shame! It was the perfect plan.
Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? My mother says I'm not allowed to go out this week. Why are you not allowed to go out? We are having a family reunion. Your whole extended family is staying over your house? Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing my cousins. Are they fun to play with? Yes, last year we played a trick on my grandpa. What did you do? We replaced his denture glue with toothpaste. I don't think that's very funny. It was when his teeth fell into the mashed potatoes. Mother, may I go play outside? Have you cleaned your room yet? I promise I'll do it later. You said that yesterday. Go I... clean it now. I really mean it this time. I'll clean it later. All right. Go play for a bit. Before I go, may I have a cookie? You can have it later. But it's the last one. Someone else might eat it. You can have it now if you go clean your room. I think I'd rather go out and play. Then I think I'll have the cookie for snack. Do you like this new dress I bought? It looks a little too big for you. I bought it for my mother. Is it for her birthday? No, it's a present for Mother's Day. Is it that time of year already? Yes, Mother's Day is next week. I have to hurry and find a gift for my mother. I'm sure it will be easy. I hope it won't be difficult. By the way, you never told me what you thought of the dress. It's beautiful. I am sure your mother will love it. I don't know what to give my dad for Father's Day. Why don't you give him a card? I already bought a card, but I want to give him a present too. What does your father like to do? He likes to cook. Maybe you can give him a chef's hat. Be serious. That gift is not practical. What other sorts of things does he like? He likes carpentry. What about getting him a new carving set? That sounds like a good idea. Let's look for one online. Computers are so amazing. I agree. I love the new webcams. Did you buy one recently? My laptop came with one. My mother loves it. Who does your mother use it to speak with? She calls my great aunt from out of state. I didn't know you had a great aunt. Neither did I. That webcam is bringing your family together. It really is. I cannot wait to meet her. I thought you already talked to her often. I do, but I will meet her in person next month. Son, come here, please. What is it, mother? Did you touch the frosting after I told you not to? No, I didn't touch the frosting. Then tell me, why is it all over your face? I ate some, but I didn't touch it. You should not tell lies. I am not lying. My hands did not go near the frosting. Then how did you eat it? I used a spoon, so I didn't touch it. I didn't disobey you. You knew what I meant. No dessert for you tonight. That's all right. I've already had some frosting. Dad, why do you like fishing so much? Fishing is a good way to clear your mind. Is that because everything is so quiet? That it is exactly why. Don't you get bored just sitting and waiting? 
There is more to fishing than just sitting and waiting. What do you mean? To be a good fisherman, you have to read nature. The same way you read a book? Almost the same way. You'll learn in time. Is that what you like most about fishing? No, I like fishing together with you the most. The girls at school don't want to be my friend. Why don't they want to be your friends? It's because I don't dress like they do. There is nothing wrong with the way you dress. They listen to different music. Music is pointless if you don't enjoy it. They curl their hair and eyelashes. Doing that every day damages your hair. Maybe if I do those things, I can be their friend. It won't be fun to do things you don't enjoy. Then who will be my friend? I'm your friend because I like you for who you are. We have to babysit this afternoon. Why can't we ever go out with mom and dad? They say they need time away from children. We're not children anymore. I guess that's why we have to watch the baby. What do you want to do first? We can play some video games. Do you want to have ice cream for dinner? That sounds good to me. Oops! I spilled chocolate on the carpet. We'll say the baby did it. Maybe babysitting isn't so bad. It's too cold to go swimming today. That's okay. We can make a sand castle. Dad forgot the buckets at home. We can explore the tide pools. Maybe we'll find some crabs. I think I'd like a seahorse better. We can put them in our aquarium. That's a great idea. How will we carry them without buckets? I forgot. We don't have any. What is there to do now? Wait until it's time to go home. Why did you throw snow at your brother? It was a snowball fight. He said he didn't know you were playing. Well, he should have known once he felt the snowball. Does this have anything to do with the snowman? You mean the one he knocked down? That's exactly the one I mean. Maybe, but I just wanted to have a snowball fight. You should be nicer to your brother. He should be nicer to my snowmen. Go say you're sorry. And play nicely. Only if he says he's sorry first. Can Spotty be in the family picture too? No, he cannot. Dogs are pets, not family. Spotty is older than I am. That still doesn't make him a human. Sometimes it seems like he can talk. I said no, so the answer is no. What if we put a hat on him? Why would you want to do that? Then he'll look just like my little brother. You're really attached to him, aren't you? Yes, he's like part of the family too. All right, he may be in the photo, but no hat. I'm sorry. My grandma took away my phone. What did she do that for? She said it was too late to be talking on the phone. You said you'd call me at 9 p.m. That's the time she sent me to bed. How can anyone sleep so early? She said that was her usual bedtime. I guess old people need to sleep longer. Not really. She woke me up at 5 a.m. this morning. Wow, your grandma really loves sunlight. I'm so exhausted. Is that boy you walk home with your brother? 
No, he's my neighbor. Does he go to your house often? We hang out there almost every day. Your parents don't mind that? Of course not. They've known him since we were children. He might as well be your brother. I prefer having close friends to having a brother. What's wrong with having a brother? Brothers always fight over things they don't want to share. Are you afraid he'd take your things? No, I'm afraid he'd take my girlfriend. How do I get that boy to like me? Just be yourself and act naturally around him. I already do that, and I still don't have a boyfriend. You will, once the right boy comes along. How do I know which boy is the right boy? You'll know because you'll fall in love. How do I know if I'm in love or not? All the love songs will make sense. The only one that makes sense now are the sad ones. Don't worry, just be patient, and then you'll see. You really think so? Yes, good things come to those who wait. I told you not to go into my room. I was just looking for a pencil. You're always making up excuses. My explanations are not excuses. You just want to snoop around my room. I don't want to be in your smelly room. Then stop going into it. Then help me find the things I need. Fine. From now on, ask me for anything you need. You promise not to get angry with me? Only if you promise not to annoy me. Deal. Can I please have a pencil now? I think I'm going to head home. Already? It's only midday. I think I have a fever. That's terrible. Does your head hurt? Yes, it's killing me. You should go home if you're not feeling well. I'm going to tell the boss that I'm leaving early. I'm sure he will understand. On the way home, I'll pick up some soup. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. I will. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Ow, that really hurts. Are you all right? What happened? I accidentally cut myself. Is it very deep? I don't think so, but it hurts a lot. You should disinfect it. I don't have anything with me. Here, use this ointment. Do you always carry that with you? Yes, along with some bandages. That's a very good idea. Perhaps you should do the same. I think David is running a fever. What should we do? His parents are not here. I don't want to give him anything he shouldn't take. How do we know what dose is all right for him? We should call the local pharmacy. Can they help us? They're not doctors. I'm sure they can. It's worth a try. What's the number? It's here. On this receipt. Thank you. Can you call his parents? What should I say? We need to let him know he is feeling sick. How are you feeling? A little better, but it is still hard to talk. What did the doctor say the problem was? It's called mononucleosis. Isn't that the kissing disease? There are other ways to get it besides kissing. Oh yeah? Name a few. Sharing drinks and food 
also spreads the disease. Really? I share drinks with my friends all the time. Yeah, so did I. Well, I won't share with you again, that's for sure. I won't share with anyone ever again. Why are you wearing a face mask? I don't want to catch anything. You won't get sick from breathing fresh air. There are germs floating everywhere. It is still unlikely that you will get sick. Why do you say that? Most of the time, we get sick from germs on our hands. You're kidding, right? Nope. We touch a lot of dirty things every day. I need some hand sanitizer. I didn't mean for you to become paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I just want to be healthy. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello, this is John. My child swallowed something. Is your child breathing all right? Yes, but he is complaining of chest pains. Do you know what it is he swallowed? It was a coin. I think it was a nickel. How old is your son? He's five years old. Please give me your address, and we will send paramedics. Should I hang up after that? No. Please stay on the line in case something changes. All right. Thank you. Hello, nine one one. I need an ambulance. What's the situation? My friend fell off her bike and hit her head. Is she unconscious? No, but she is bleeding a lot. Please tell me your location. We are near the community college. Please don't let her stand. Do you have her ID? Yes, I also found her insurance card. Good. You will need those at the hospital. She is beginning to feel less dizzy. Good, just sit tight. The ambulance will be there soon. Hey, what's that you're eating? It's steamed rice cake. My grandma made it. Does it taste good? It's delicious. I think it's my favorite dessert. I think I'll stick to jelly donuts. Do you want one? No thanks. If you eat too many of those, you'll get fat. All pastries make you fat. That's true, but the ones with sugar are the worst. Sugar makes them taste good. Try this rice cake. It has a little sugar. I guess that is pretty good. It is. And it's healthier than donuts too. How many cups of coffee have you had today? I don't know. Three, maybe. Don't you think it's a little too much? No way. Coffee is good for you. Too much of anything is bad for you. What about water? Sure, people drown all the time. Well, I'd happily drown in coffee. Did you know coffee stains your teeth brown? Does it really? Yes, your teeth will rot if you drink too much. I'd better stop then. Girls like nice white smiles. Hey, where were you all afternoon? I was working out at the health club. You went to the gym. It's more than just a gym. All you do is lift weights, right? No, there's also swimming, sports, and even dancing. They have dancing at a health club. Of course, 
it's good for your coordination. I've heard that it's also good for toning your muscles. You should join me sometime. Maybe if I work out, I'll look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think you look more like Danny DeVito. Ah! I've got a cramp in my foot. Stop swimming and roll onto your back. It really hurts. It will stop hurting if you rest a little. Why did you tell me to roll on my back? It's easier if you just float until the pain stops. It hurts even more if I don't move my foot. At least your face is not in the water. I think the cramp went away. Can you move your foot now? Yes. Thanks for your quick thinking. No problem. Let's get to the shallow water. So hot. Let's go swimming now. We have to wait a while before swimming. But why? The sun is so hot. It's bad to swim after you just ate. Why? Will you sink in the water? No. The motion and sudden cold will make you sick. What kind of sick? It can make you nauseated and you might throw up. How long do we know do we have to wait? Only about half an hour. Half an hour? I'll bake in the sun. It's better than throwing up your lunch. Why are you limping around like that? I signed up for the new yoga class. Did they make you do all those weird positions? Yes, some of those stretches hurt. I'm not flexible enough for yoga. I don't think I am either. Why did you sign up for it? I heard it's good for your body. I heard mostly women take that class. Well, there's that too. This is a punishment for your bad intentions. Maybe. Either way, I don't deserve this. That's a funny looking outfit. It's a professional running suit. Why are you wearing it? I'm training for the marathon. I didn't know you liked running. I'm just trying to lose weight. Well, this is a good way to do it. The marathon is also a fundraiser. Maybe I'll sponsor you. Why don't you just run instead? Are you calling me fat? I just thought both sides would benefit that way. You look troubled. I feel terrible. What's the problem? I went hiking in the mountains last week. Isn't that supposed to relax you? Yes, but I wore shorts instead of pants. So, it's hot there. I was eaten alive by mosquitoes and ticks. Deer ticks are really dangerous. I know. I had to go to the doctor. Be more mindful next time. Trust me, I will. I hate deer ticks. I'm so tired today. Did you stay up late watching TV again? No. I tried to sleep at 11 p.m. And you couldn't fall asleep? No, I lay in bed until 3 a.m. Isn't that the time you usually fall asleep? I suppose it is, actually. Your body is too used to going to sleep really late. What should I do? I'm tired. Try to tire yourself out and sleep early today. Tonight is the season finale, though. You're hopeless.
I have so many split ends. How do you brush your hair? The same way everyone else does. I don't think so. You're supposed to use a brush. A comb isn't that different from a brush. Combs tear long hair and cause split ends. Really? All this time I blamed my shampoo. Well, good shampoo helps to repair it. What should I do? Always brush it before you comb it. Then maybe I won't look like a broom. It takes hard work to have nice hair. My hair isn't soft and shiny anymore. Maybe you should do a hair treatment. Hair products are expensive, though. You can use certain foods to do it, too. Really? Which ones? I heard that avocado is really good for your hair. Oh, gross! I don't want to smell like mayonnaise. Well, other people use avocado. Great! I could either be a sandwich or a salad. You could always use baby oil and shampoo. Now that sounds more pleasant. If you say so, I don't mind using avocado. Why are you using crutches? Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. What happened? I sprained my ankle yesterday. What were you doing? It's kind of a secret. Why is it a secret? I'm a spy, and if I tell you, I'll get in trouble. Do you really expect me to believe that? All right. I'll be serious this time. Good. What really happened? I got hurt during my ninja training. Can I borrow your class notes? Sure, but didn't you take any down? I couldn't really see the board. Do you sit too far away? I think I just need new glasses. You should be careful. It could be serious. What do you mean? You could have a concussion. Or worms could be eating my eyes. Maybe you're a robot and your batteries are dying. I'm pretty sure I just need new glasses. Even so, you should probably buy some batteries. Your son is so healthy. He is already very concerned with fitness. That is so wonderful. He likes to eat healthy and exercise every day. My son likes chocolate and video games. That is not good for him at all. I don't know what to do with him. Make him some fun snacks for school. I gave him a carrot stick once. That's a good snack. Later he admitted that he gave it to the school rabbit. Well, at least the rabbit eats its vegetables. Do you know where I could get a back massage? What's wrong with your back? It hurts a lot when I sit for too long. A masseuse will not help you with that pain. What do you suggest I do? I think you should go to the chiropractor. What does he do? He adjusts the alignment of your back. Does this help with the pain? It usually does. Where can I find one? Look one up online. I'm sure you'll find one near you. Can you help me get up the stairs, please? Of course. What happened to your leg? I broke it a week ago. How did that happen? I was playing basketball and fell. Ouch! Did someone push you? No, I just jumped and landed wrong. I broke my leg once, too. How did it happen to you? A boy pushed me down a hill and I landed on my leg. That sounds like a mean kid. Yes, but I kicked him with the cast. You lost a lot of weight. Yes, thank you for noticing. You look great. How did you do it? I started eating a lot healthier.
That's too hard for me to do. I also exercise four times a week. Oh, I don't have time for that. It can be hard to find time. However, it is worth it. I'm thinking of just trying some new diet pills. I suggest you try to do it naturally. I can help you if you want. That'd be great. Public restrooms gross me out. They're not always bad. Even when they look clean, there are germs everywhere. That's because so many people don't wash their hands. That makes me so angry. Me too. Washing hands is a simple thing to do. I think everyone is just too lazy to do it. It's very rude of them. I agree. Even five-year-olds know better than not to wash their hands. But there's not much we can do about it.